Okay, in the classic style of Photo Man videos, we're going to review this thing. It's called a plug link. You plug your Ethernet cable in there and it transmits over the power lines. Problem with it is, this is my spectrum analyzer. It went away. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. All the way to 20 megahertz, all the way down to about 6 or 7. So if you're a ham and you operate HF a lot, you use one of these, your bands are going to suffer. And um, the other end of this is plugged upstairs directly into the um, AT&T connection box, the RG um, switch hub, whatever the hell they're calling it these days. They change the name of those things all the time. Um, and so let's plug straight into that. And we go over here and we see the speed test result of... 6.45 and 1.95 whereas on the upstairs computer I'm getting like 20 so not only do you get a really reduced speed over these things but you can see right now it's not doing anything whenever I unhook this all that interference uh, disappears up the spec spectrum analyzer so yeah if your HF reception is su suffering or shortwave or whatever and you're using something similar to this these ones I think are provided by AT&T. I picked them up today from the uh, from the store I'm at, and he let me take them home to review them. I may end up purchasing them and tearing them apart, see what they're how they really work. But I figured it would probably tear up the HF bands. So Ethernet over over electric lines, not good for HF. So yeah, if you're using those, try best to do what I did and get a switch or a hub and go direct cable to the remote computer. I mean, I actually pull, I actually have Cat5 going, you can see that, that's, yeah. I may do a video of what it sounds like on the, on the HF radio, I'm sure it's not pretty. Thanks for watching.